SpaceX is now ready to colonize Mars. What is Elon Musk's plan for the Red Planet? Can we see a human civilization soon on Martian soil? Elon Musk has recently revealed his plan to inhabit the virgin soils of Mars. But how exactly can we do it? How many years or decades until the time we conquer Mars? Will you and I have a chance to board SpaceX's spacecraft to the Red Planet? Let's take a look at SpaceX's journey to Mars. SpaceX has been causing a buzz in the space industry for the past decade, and it is thanks to the wealthiest man on Earth, Elon Musk. Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 after he sold PayPal and decided to pursue a business mainly in space flights and exploration. Elon SpaceX literally took the space industry to new heights, as it is the first and leading private spaceflight company in the entire world. SpaceX's main mantra is to enable more economically viable space flights with its monumental reusable rocket system, which could save NASA billions of dollars. Now, with Elon sitting on hundreds of billions of dollars, he is trying to take SpaceX to the next level, or should I say, the next planet. Using their latest and most advanced rocket ever made, their very own starship, Elon Musk is now trying not to just visit Mars, but to colonize it entirely. SpaceX's Starship is the latest rocket system from SpaceX, which they coined as the most powerful rocket ever. While it is currently only used to bring satellites to space, Elon is now planning to use this monumental rocket to colonize the Red Planet. But Elon needs to hurry and raise his hand, because the race to Mars is getting a little bit crowded. How will the wealthiest man in the world win this race? SpaceX's growing competitors to Mars Elon Musk is very eager to explore Mars, but unsurprisingly, he is not the only one. With SpaceX and NASA's successful observations on Mars, many space agencies and even private space companies are also intrigued by what the Red Planet has to offer. To their eyes, this is a massive opportunity to be known as the pioneers when it comes to exploring and exploiting Martian soil. Currently, there are seven countries and companies that are actively exploring the possibility of a mission to Mars. Of course, the United States with NASA and SpaceX is one of them. Other countries such as Japan, China, the United Arab Emirates, Russia, and India are among the popular countries that may touch the Red Planet this decade or the next. All of them want a piece of the virgin Martian soil. But aside from these countries, two other private companies are aiming to beat SpaceX to Mars. Two startup companies from California, Impulse Space and Relativity Space, announced in July 2022 that they were teaming up to launch their first commercial mission to Mars in 2024. Elon Musk needs to hurry up on his endeavors to Mars. Many countries and companies are right behind him, trying to catch up to SpaceX's success. But despite all the competitors, Elon and SpaceX have already firmly cemented themselves as the pioneers of exploring Mars. Elon Musk even revealed their plans to colonize the planet. He is eager to populate the Red Planet. But the lingering question is, can we actually live on Mars? How is the Red Planet comparable to Earth? What exactly would living on Mars look like? It is a dream for avid space fans to live inside a human colony on Mars. Numerous movies have even depicted what it would look like to live on the planet. It has been viewed widely as science fiction instead of reality. But now, a huge amount of people have been excited when the news spread that we might be able to live on the Red Planet soon. With Elon SpaceX, this will become plausible, and the man himself revealed how we are going to inhabit the planet. First, we need to realize that inhabiting another planet is not for the faint of heart. Mars is not exactly like Earth. The planet is dry and cold, going down as much as 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 140 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere on Mars is also thinner than on our Earth, which makes ultraviolet rays and other radiation from space enter more freely on the Red Planet. Well, Elon might have a solution for that. In an interview, he said that they could terraform Mars by exploding nuclear bombs over its polar caps. This would create tiny artificial suns that can warm the planet and induce an Earth-like atmosphere. Also, the gravity on Mars is only 38% of Earth's, which means running and moving around would take a bit of relearning. But who cares, right? Living on Martian soil will be an amazing feat for humans. The planet even has two moons that you can see at the same time. Imagine humans being a multi-planetary species, a species that lives on two or more planets. This will also create a lot of possibilities for our space industry. 
Though SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk described colonizing Mars as dangerous, cramped, difficult, and hard work, in spite of all of that, he is also excited about inhabiting the planet. So, how exactly will the billionaire do it? Well, Elon is very keen on colonizing Mars as early as 2026, and he is confident that SpaceX will accomplish that feat. Let's take a look at SpaceX's big plans on colonizing Mars. Elon Musk clearly wants humans to become a multi-planetary species in our lifetime. The billionaire insisted that humans need a plan B when the Earth is too damaged to call itself home. And the plan B? Colonizing Mars. Arguably the most vital part of Musk's plan for colonizing Mars is the innovation of its very own starship. A reusable spacecraft that stands 394 feet 120 meters high. This spaceship will be SpaceX's ticket to the Red Planet, as it is more economically efficient and a thousand times cheaper than NASA's latest launch vehicle, the Space Launch System, or SLS. SpaceX's Starship has been established as the most powerful rocket ever, and they are planning on creating at least 1,000 Starships before the planet Mars becomes more accessible. Elon also revealed that manned missions to Mars could potentially start in 2026, with the first set of astronauts setting foot on Martian soil. But the billionaire CEO also said that before these manned missions, SpaceX, in collaboration with NASA, should fly at least 100 more unmanned missions to Mars to place satellites and fully understand the Red Planet. With thousands of powerful reusable rockets and hundreds of missions collecting the necessary data scientists need, we might be able to call Mars our second home. Though Elon added that the journey to Mars is far from complete, his ambitious plans for the planet after this decade are much more exciting. What's next after we successfully land the first human on Mars? After landing the first humans on Mars as early as 2026 or 2029, Elon's plan for the planet is much bigger. He is planning to create a self-sustaining city on the Martian soil and to create a Martian civilization within. Imagine a city on Mars. Elon is also planning to make commercial flights to Mars as early as the 2030s. And he even said that the ticket prices to Mars will be reasonably cheap, with a ticket price estimated to be $100,000. Creating and building the Martian city might be done as early as 2030 or 2040. Not just that, Musk also envisions what it will look like on Mars by the year 2050. In the year 2050, we might send 1 million people to Mars. The space billionaire also said that he aims to launch three starships per day in the future. The future plans for the planet Mars are really ambitious. Do you think Elon Musk's SpaceX can pull this off? Can we live on the red planet? Are you willing to go on a one-way trip to Mars? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below.